to match number three. Now we go over in the group stages for Euro 2022. Of course, all eyes were on England after they put eight past Norway. Will they do it again up against their fellow Brits, Northern Ireland? We're going to take a little look at it. All of it next. Game another production video today. We're taking a look at match number three, part one, over in the ladies Euro 2022. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you do what you mean, smash your subscribe and you can bang it. All things Euro 22 related, but not related. World football related. We got it all here, boys. Under one roof. Of course, England were the stars of the show at match number two, part one. Of course, with a a uh, tournament defying 8-0 drop. And not over the minnows. Norway, of course, are a credible unit. And England put on a, a, a star-spangled showpiece. Uh, with an 8 0 win over Norway. Of course, we'll take a look at what that's done to the table in a second. Of course, big shout out to VIPs. Of course, if you knew where you've been, check out the links down below Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, all that kind of jazz. But anyway, let's get into it. I'm on my own flying solo today. Millie is uh, having a vacation somewhere nice. I hope Hopefully she's having a good time. Uh, so she will not be with us to do the predictions, but hopefully she will be back soon. Uh, and if you're watching this, on your holidays, let me know when you're back, or let me know when you can do some picks, because uh, we've got the, the 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 remainder of the groups still ahead. So let's take a look at uh, what we've we got going on here then. Okay, now folks, these were the games. Of course, let's take a look, a look at them. Of course, Austria against Northern Ireland over in Group A. Uh, I went with a cheeky 1-0 win. It was a 2-0 win uh, for Austria. And Millie went with a draw, unfortunately. No no real joy there for her. Meanwhile, of course, like I said at the top of the hour, England ran right. I went 3-0. I went with a comfortable win, a convincing win, but it wasn't convincing enough. 8-0 it was, and Millie went with a 2-0. So we had our both scores together, and we're still three goals shy. Uh, but England with a fantastic performance. They're eight goals scored. Uh, well done, well done. Meanwhile, Denmark, 2-1 winners over Finland. I went with that. Uh, that was my pick. It was a 1-0 win. And there was a draw for Millie as well. And Germany, 3-0 winners over Spain. 2-0 was the final score. And 3-2 Spain for Millie. Absolute stinker for her. I think I did pretty... I think I got them all right. Look, I got them all right. And this is my first crack at the women's game. I love it. Absolutely love it. So that's the score lines there. That's, of course, match number two, part one. We're now going to look at match number three, part one. But before that, let's take a little look at the Super Brew. The Super... What's the Super Brew? Well, the Super Brew is our prediction league for this tournament, and it makes my life so much easier. If you can see, see the evolution of the of the prediction leagues from when I had to write them down painstakingly, uh, cripple my fingers uh, uh, and, and add up all the scores to last season where I had some sort of automated performance, this bad boy is so much hands off. It makes things incredibly easy. Uh, but this is state of play, of course, after the games is up to two point one. Um, of course, we still get the results for to take place uh today and tomorrow today being uh wednesday th tomorrow thursday uh so this is state of play james we are oh, great he's running away with it with 14.5 points on the board hansworth's up there with 14 jp joker's up there also with 13 very, very close and there i am sitting pretty in fourth millie's having a stinker 3.5 the less said about that the better she's got she's a she's a second half team like that and rovers she'll turn it all around uh, but uh, it is good. It's great. Uh, you don't only get a point for getting a correct uh, result, but if so, also if you get the, the score bang on, you get three points. Uh, and I've done that five times. No, I haven't. I've done that three times. Uh, six by hands worst. Well done, well done. So well done to them, guys. And again, all the automated stuff is done behind the scenes. Uh, if you want to join the Prediction League, take a look at it. It is right here. Uh, Cutley Forge Euro 2022. And in fact, let's uh, let's break it break it down some. Break it, break it down some. And have a little look um, at the results itself in regards to the Super Brew. So if we hop over to the website, we'll start with, of course, we're in round two, match day, uh, match number, or match, or match two, uh, match day two, uh, part one, which is um, Austria, uh, Northern Ireland, England, Norway, Denmark, Finland, and Germany, and Spain. So let's take a look at the Austria one to break it all down for you all. Uh, so 2-0 was the final score. I went with a 1-0 win for Northern Ireland. Uh, and these are the guys who got it bang on the nose. Like Hans Worst there with a 2-0 win there. Erika Mode is up there with 2-0 as well. Uh, a load of us got, uh, got it close to the money. Nobody just got the result. Uh, a couple of them got them wrong. So as you can see, 
Um, predictable as going in the favour. Meanwhile, England against uh, Norway, nobody got their spot on. No one anywhere near um, within two goals or, or what the difference. We all, we all got a point for getting it right. These guys got it wrong. Well done to us. Uh, moving forward, Denmark against uh, Finland. 1-0 win was, I went with a 2-1 win, which was pretty close. Um, but nobody got it spot on. Uh, a couple of folks went with uh, uh, Finland or a draw, uh, and they got that wrong as well. So not good. What's this then? That's probably what we want, don't we? It makes it a little bit slicker. Uh, and then Germany versus Spain. Uh, final score was 2-0 to Germany. 3-1 uh, was picked a couple of times there. One with a 3-0, which is close. Um... And then the rest of you guys went, a lot of them went with the draw. Anyway, that's the state of play there. Uh, let's jump in the vortex, of course, get back into it uh, and take a little look at uh, the next round of games then, shall we? So here, uh, before we go into it, here is the groups, of course, uh, in a bit of a weird order. Group B first. We like to mix it up a, li a little bit. Germany, of course, top the charts. They are through to the quarterfinal stages. Germany will take on Finland in the last game. Spain take on Denmark in that left game. Uh, so we're with one of those two joining Germany in the latter stages. Meanwhile, England are also through. They are through with six points. They'll talk on Northern Ireland, who have got uh, zero points. They are knocked out. Same can be said for Finland and Austria and Norway. We'll duke it out in a a straight up shootout uh, for a spot in the last eight of the quarter final stages so that's the state of play there okay folks now these are the next matches of course match number three part one uh wrapping up wrapping up of course northern ireland's final game finland's final game uh england already through they'll have at least another game as will germany and two others of course but anyway let's jump in the deep end of course take a look at northern ireland uh taking on uh, the mighty england have been very very uh cool uh as cucumbers so far but these two nations have played each other three times in the past and that's of course just in the past couple of years since 2021 so three wins out of three for england they of course their biggest win over northern ireland Six nil. It could be like that, guys. Depending on how cruel or how kind uh, Serena Wiegman and her ladies will want to be over Kenny Shields, who might be under a little bit of pressure, of course, coming into this Northern Ireland. Though, of course, happy to just be here. Six uh, five defeats on the bats and them eight percent form. England, of course, six percent form. Haven't lost in the last sixteen games. Six uh, six nil was the biggest win. Fifteen goals scored without return. England over Northern Ireland since uh, those three matches works out around about five zero goals a game. Uh, and of course, five nil was that the last match between two sides. Back in April 2022, which was the World Cup qualifying campaign back uh, in uh, April. Uh, meanwhile, last time I played that in England, it was a 4 0 win way back in October 2021. Northern Ireland did uh, lose to Austria last time around 2 0. They've scored one goal so far in the tournament, conceding six. England yet to concede a goal, uh, concede a goal and have scored nine. Uh, look at the odds for this one then, shall we? What do we got going on? Northern Ireland uh, are filled 40 to 1 long shots, uh, 25 to 1 on Asia, England, 14 to 1 Asia draw. This is where I would say, Millie, it's over to you but she's not here today so it's all down to me and I'm going to go with an England win not a crazy win I don't think they're going to be that uh, that uh, brash and of course we'll see a, a rotated squad I imagine uh, for the ladies as they look forward I think they're going to be group winners aren't they? they realistically their goal difference is too good and they've beaten the rest so they're going to probably mix it up change goalkeeper change first uh, f uh, the first team around and of course uh, give the others a rest next of course was Austria up against Norway in the battle for that second spot over oh, there Brighton Community Stadium down at the Amex. Of course, played other three times. 2009, two wins Norway, nothing for Austria. One draw, of course. Austria winning four of the last six. 67% form for them. Up against the Norway side, just one defeat past six to them. 83% form, of course. Biggest win for Norway over Austria was a 2 0 win. The biggest uh, win the other way, there was none. Uh, five goals scored by Norway over Austria. Two goals scored the other way. And of course, works out around about 1.67 goals game ratio for Norway compared to the 0.67 goals for Austria over the course of those three matches. Their last time played there was a draw. That's back as a 2 2 draw back in. June 2016 in women's Euro uh, qualification phase back in Group A. Uh, group Eight it was. Uh, Norway coming into this on the back of that 8-0 loss to England. They need a response. Can they do it uh, against Austria? Of course, they did beat Northern Ireland safely. Meanwhile, Austria, of course, coming into this, just one goal conceded, and they uh, did pick up a two to win over Northern Ireland as well. The odds for this one uh, go in favour. I think going to go with it, uh, Norway. Here. Five to two is your Austria. Even steams is your Norway, and 30 to five is your draw. Quite tight this one across the book is low, but I'm going to go with a Norway win here. They'll bounce back. And despite that 8-0 drop in, that'll put them through to knockout stages alongside England representing Group A. Moving on to Finland up against Germany. Same deal applies. Uh, I do anticipate Germany to rotate it up a little bit. And they also, uh, uh, you know, up against a, a team of Finland who are 
already out. Uh, so take a look at it then, shall we? Of course, taking place at the stadium, MK. Play each other four times, these two teams. Uh, of course, four wins out of four for Germany, including a 7 0 win not too long ago. Uh, that's, of course, back until 2005. Uh, Finland, though, comes to the back of three defeats in a row. Four defeats, actually. 25% form. I guess the German side have just lost once in the past four games. 67% form. Of course, they've scored 16 goals against Finland over the course of those four games. Works out around about four goals a game ratio. 0.25 goals scored by Finland. Uh, the last time played, there was that 7 0 back in uh, February 2, 2010. Uh, and they haven't conceded a goal against Finland over the last three years. And in fact, they haven't conceded a goal uh, against England uh, in the last 17 years, I believe. Uh, the last time they could score against, uh, last time Finland scored against Germany was in the semi final European uh, Championships. Back in uh, in June 2005, where they lost 4-1. Uh, they're coming to us on the back of a 1-0 loss against Denmark. They've also lost to Spain earlier. Germany coming in just yet to concede a goal. In fact, they've gone three goals uh, without conceding, including a friendly against uh, Switzerland, where they went 7-0 back in uh, the, the end of June. Uh, the odds for this one then, shall we? I do have odds. It's 25-1 to Finland. 2-1 on is your Germany and 8-1 to is your long. So Germany should clean house here. 3-0 in for them, just like England. And again, with a rotated sign mix it up a little bit and then wrap it up wrap it up it will be denmark and it will be spain of course locking horns at the brentford community stadium on the 16th of july page of the two times 13 one win for spain nothing for denmark and one draw denmark coming to just one win in three for them 30 some 60 form up against the spain spanish side also 60 some form just one win in three also uh, a lot of draws knocking around for spain the biggest win though for spain over denmark three near win they've scored five goals over denmark since 2013 uh and they've scored two uh, in return have the danes works out around one goal a game for Denmark, 2.5 goals a game for Spain. Uh, last time there was a 3 0 win for Spain back in June 2021. Uh, that was in Spain. Uh, it was a friendly though. Uh, Spain came on the back of that 2 0 loss to Germany. They also beat Finland 4 1. Meanwhile, Denmark coming into on the back of that 4 0 loss to Denmark. Uh, so to Germany and a 1 0 win over Finland. Uh, I might have gone against the grain here, but uh, let's look at the odds. The odds are 8 to 1 for the Danes, 3 to 1 on as your Spain, and 4 to 1 as your draw. I've gone with Denmark here, uh, 2 1 win for them. Spain have been a little bit shitty. Uh, I'm just going for a surprise here uh, on this one as, the, as we enter the final games. Now, I do believe, I do believe all these matches are taking place at the same time. Do the same rules apply? You know, same kickoff sort of deal. Uh, let's have a look. Just want to confirm that for you. Yes, indeed. So uh, it's going to be a busy weekend of football uh, with Northern Ireland, England, Austria, Norway taking place on Friday, July fifteenth. Same time, same kickoff, and uh, Finland, Germany, Denmark, Spain taking place on Saturday. Same time, same kickoff, sort of deal. With that, my friends and ladies and gentlemen, is uh, just about it. Uh, be sure to get your own picks in. Of course, cut the uh, forward slash Euro twenty twenty two is free. Super Brew, good bit of fun. I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't know if you have to be in at the start to join. Um, but um, I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. But anyway, that is it. Make sure you bang the subscribe, bang the thumbs up, bang the little bell, of course. Make sure you, you get involved with the comments down below. Let me know if you th if you watched the England game, the 8-0 drubbing. We don't see that very often, of course. Make sure you subscribe, of course. I'll see you, of course, whenever we return. Busy old week ahead for me. But until then, guys and girls, we are done -zoed.